a guy that it seems like for a couple of years now you, you've talked about him being close to ready. How good do you feel about him or, or not right now? You know, I think he's having an outstanding spring. I really do. Um, you know, having his best spring since he's been here. We've got him at the mic spot. You know, he's kind of played played both positions, but uh, having him at one spot, letting him get in all those reps. I mean, he's playing really, really well right now. I'm, I'm really pleased with him. Um, you know, obviously he hasn't played much in a game, but uh, right now he's doing a good job getting us lined up, being fundamentally sound. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm pleased with where he is, uh, you know, right now. So, but he's had a great spring. How has he handled, it's sort of been a long wait for him to, to see playing time. How has he handled well, that? Well, you know, uh, you'd have to ask him. I think he's done a good job with it. I mean, uh, obviously he comes from a coach's family and, you know, that type of thing. And, you uh, um, you know, he understands that there's uh, there's certain roles, and you know, being in that his dad being in that business, his brother being in that business, um, his turn, you know, has come. We talked about that with it's a lot like, and I hope we get the same result with uh, you know Pernell Sturdivant and, and Brett Warren. They be, but they play behind Xavier DB and Vince All, and you know, we won a championship with those two guys. But then the next year, when we graduate a bunch of guys. You know, those two kids stepped up their senior year and played really, really well. So I'm hoping that'll be the same for Chase. You know, he's had a lot of snaps in, in practice. Um, you know, he's played some in the game. He started a game. So, you know, I'm hoping he, you know, he, I know he's going to go out and function and, and give us his best. He's got to stay healthy. He's got to play consistent, all those kind of things. But uh, I like where he is right now. Is this a smaller defense than you've had in the past? It year? looks like it, you know, from a, from a size standpoint. It does. I mean, you know, Daddy. You know, he's not a big kid. You know, obviously, uh, we got to keep keep weight on him. I think our interior guys are okay. You know, but uh, our ends, uh, you know, we, we don't have those uh, big six four other than Seth Dooley. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I like how we're practicing. I think sometimes a little bit size is overrated a little bit, but uh, uh, especially how the offenses are nowadays. But I think you know, getting off playing pad level, uh, playing good technique, that's, that's the important thing. But also, there comes you, you got to have the right size, and you know, you got to have enough size. Let me say that I would say the right size, but enough size. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, I don't really get caught up in all that right now. You know, it's nice though to have some big kids with long arm spans and all that. But I like our linebackers. I think you know, with Dion, you know, he, I don't know what he weighs. He plays big right now. Uh, he's playing fast. Um, you know, from a linebacker standpoint, we're just—I uh, like our first group. I think we're really flying around, doing some good things right there. So I don't know. I, I you know, haven't really evaluated that much from a size standpoint. Well, I was going to add. I mean, you kind of mentioned it, but. Offenses spreading things out. Is yeah, size yeah. less important in today's game? Than I think a defense? little bit. Yeah, I mean, you still need to have some guys that you know when you're playing the Boston colleges and Miamis when they're going to try to line up and try to knock you off the ball. You've got to have that. But uh, you know, you look at a guy like Corey Marshall who's 260 pounds, but he plays like he's 280 because he's got great at get off. He's got great hand plays. I mean, he's strong as a as an ox. You know, we had a kid a couple years ago, Demetrius Taylor. You guys might remember him. He was a kid that we had a linebacker move to end, end up moving a defensive tackle. We won a championship with him at there in, 20, in 2010. I don't know if we'd have won it without him. He was about 258 pounds. But he was a 400-plus bencher. He could really flatten out and run. You know, he wasn't going to get knocked off the ball. And uh, so, you know, I think some things you can make up with speed and athletic ability as long as still your technique and fundamentals are still there. You know, you can maybe get away with a little bit undersized, you know, at times. So. I know 